Hi, Robert Campbell here with the Cisco TAC Service Provider Mobility Team. Today, I want to show you how to run the monitor subscriber on a CUPS control plane node. First, log in to the control plane node. Make sure to save your CLI session output to a log file. Type monitor subscriber and press enter. This displays a menu with all the options available. For this example, select option F, next call, but you can also specify the subscriber with MZ or MSISDN. A new menu shows the options available for capture. Some options are enabled, turned on by default. You can toggle an option on, off, when you type the character or number associated to that option in the menu. An important note here is that you must enable either option A, PDU hex, ASCII, or option X, PDU hex them. Do not enable them both at the same time because this can cause issues. For this example, these options are enabled. 19, 26, 33, 34, 35, A, S, Y, and verbosity level 5. When traffic that matches our criteria comes into the node, it is recorded on screen. The verbosity level selected determines the amount of information displayed. Verbosity level 1 is the lowest, and 5 is the highest. When you have completed your capture, type Q to quit and exit the monitor subscriber menu. The CLI session output log file that results can be uploaded to the service request portal for analysis. Please note that although this is a very powerful tool, it is also best effort and has limitations through congestion scenarios. It is complementary to and does not replace external captures. Thank you for watching.